Every single marketer on the planet, both good and bad, want to make you aware of all the fantastic things that their product can do for you. They want to paint their product in the best possible light, demonstrating to you why they think you should buy it. But what if these people are lying? Or what if they're not lying, but they're greatly exaggerating their product's capabilities to the point where it may as well be a flat out lie? Empty, unrealistic promises that cannot be backed up with proof are a clear signal that, hey, maybe there's something wrong with this offering. For example, we see it to this day with, say, weight loss products. Maybe you've heard somebody claim that you can lose 20 pounds in two weeks or lose weight naturally with this brand new supplement or pill. Now look, obviously this is not going to be true, at least for the vast majority of people. Could you lose 20 pounds in two weeks? Sure, I mean, maybe somebody has, despite the fact that it's extremely unhealthy. I mean, have people lost weight while consuming their pill? Probably, but who's to say it was the pill that actually did it, and not that person's commitment to a healthier lifestyle? And here's the problem. We all wish it was as simple as taking a pill. We all know losing weight comes down to eating healthy and exercising. Consumers chase magic solutions even when they know very well that they don't exist. Shady marketers capitalize on people's impatience and false hope. Some of them do a very good job at it. So, when you see claims being made on sales pages like this, you've got to ask yourself a few questions. 1. Can these claims be backed up with proof? Is there any other information out there on other websites that show this is legitimate? 2. Are competing products in the same ballpark with their claims, or is there a big difference? 3. Are the results being claimed typical to the average person, or were they cherry-picked from some extreme case that isn't likely to happen to you? Remember, great products don't have to resort to outrageous claims because other people will tell you all about how well the product worked for them, if, of course, it actually delivered on its promises. My goal here is not to make you cynical towards marketers, but to give you some things to stop and think about prior to purchase. We're pretty deep into this mini course now, but we still have a few important ones left, things that may be a bit harder to actually detect. Let's keep going.